Clavin and Shave boys, what's up, TikTok? Yikes, 2020? <laughs> hey, chat. Chat, do you want to guess who did that? Breakfast. Who are we looking at next? Uh, we can look at this one here. Okay. Wow. Waterfall. Yeah, it was Mark. It was Mark? The the one who said yikes at 2020. <laughs> Glad I decided to wear foundation today. Otherwise, you'd uh. Otherwise, I'd be. What's wrong with that? <laughs> she's only just done with her shit. She's gone. Oh, she <laughs> she's doing more push <laughs> That's terrible form. Yeah. Terrible form. <laughs> <laughs> you happy, Brandon? <laughs> uh... Quick, she can't hear us. Twitch Prime. <laughs> Super Twitch Prime. What are you doing, step ladder? <laughs> I don't know what that's called, but I really didn't ever expect to have like um, squish there. <laughs> that's my most annoying area for squish, seconded by my thighs. My like, I'm, I'm just always gonna be mostly ass because like all of my body weight goes to my hips and my my butt and my legs. That's where I store it. I don't store it in my stomach as much as everywhere around that, like there's a big circle between my knees and my belly button and that's just where all of my- And I'm like, oh I get it, this this app, uh, this app is just for thirsty people. You like my hair today? Fuck off. Well, um, I just done it. It's um, it's actually full, it's actually full of cum. Will you guys help me come up with a hashtag? Because I'd like to make one for people to use to describe the harassment and stalking they've experienced on multiple platforms. So I know people who are Instagram models, who are YouTubers, who are just people who work in a factory or at the bank. People, you know, there are loads of different people who've experienced harassment um, and the police have not helped them and the platforms that they use haven't helped them or could have done more. So I'd love to create a hashtag so people can start talking about that because I think it does need some attention. I think people just don't realize how pervasive it is. Hashtag stop the stalk. That's a great one, actually. I'm writing that down. So hopefully um, that give you a little piece of a, um, a little chance to kind of empathize and think about things. If you produce games or narratives or stories, maybe it'll inspire you to add a little bit of extra juice, a little bit of extra uniqueness to your games. Maybe if you're out and about and you know, you're interacting with people, maybe you'll have a better insight into how you're impacting them and how they might feel about what you do. And that was all my motivation of having that talk. It was never to berate anyone or shame anyone or generalize everyone. It was just simply to help people understand how you can potentially make people feel and how you can potentially improve things. So with that, I hope you all be cool with each other and I'll see you next time. I'll be back on, what day is it today? I'm gonna put the camera in the corner here. Yeah, that will work. You are a bad influence. You know what, chat? If you think she's guilty, sub with Twitch Prime. Hmm. Nice try. Chat wouldn't be dumb enough to fall for that. <coughs> oh, sorry, Corona. Mm. <laughs> Alright, what? <laughs> hey, there we go. What's that? Three, three prime subs so far. Look at 
us all four, honestly. That's what I like to see, chat. We got it. There's five. That's what I'm talking about. Keep it coming, chat. Do I hear six? Oh, there's seven. Stop! <laughs> Come on, chat. Let's make it an even. Say, wouldn't it be crazy if she had to drink the absinthe? Oh my goodness. I was asking a question. She's singing. Nay! Sorry. You should be sorry. The merged angel, welcome. Hello, sweetheart. What time is it over there? It's half eight in the morning. I have had very little sleep because I was working hard and I blinked and I was like, oh fuck, I'm gonna have like three hours. But. I can do this. I'm okay. Uh, 